It's been described by one Belgian newspaper as Le Gaffe de Trop, the Gaffe too far, after a Belgian prince dressed in his naval officer's uniform to attend an unauthorized ceremony in honor of the 90th anniversary of the founding of China's People's Liberation Army. Prince Laurent, younger brother to Philippe, King of the Belgians, has a history of contentious meetings with foreign powers and faces a 10% fine from his endowment of €308,000 £280,000 a year. Last year the Belgian Prime Minister, Charles Michel, banned the prince from unauthorized talks with senior foreign officials after a series of unapproved excursions. Lawrence's previous diplomatic freelancing has involved jetting off to see President Joseph Kabila of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, who, after 16 years in power, refuses to stand down on the grounds that the country cannot afford elections. He also enjoyed frequent visits to Libya between 2008 and 2010, where he had been hoping to go into business with one of Muammar Gaddafi's sons. Laurent was given a final warning last December after he went on an unauthorized visit to see the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka, Rainil Wickram Singhi. The People's Liberation Army event may have gone unnoticed but the wayward prince tweeted a picture of himself attending the ceremony at the Chinese embassy in Brussels, leaving the Belgian Prime Minister with little choice but to act. Laurent of Belgium, at Laurent underscore of underscore B. The 19th of July 2017 commemoration of 90th anniversary of the founding of the Chinese People's Liberation Army. Pick Twitter. Com, XHWZNW2WCR July 29, 2017 It was in consultation with the King that the Prime Minister made the decision to apply for a sanction, a spokesman said. In his defense, Laurent, 53, claimed he had merely responded to a personal invitation. The youngest son of the former King and Queen, Albert II and Paula, has form for embarrassing his family. Last year, after a critical report from the Belgian Court of Audit, the financial watchdog for public institutions, Laurent was forced to repay €16,000 to the Belgian state for claiming expenses for a ski holiday, supermarket bills and the school fees of his three children. Belgian prince under fire after hitting out at politicians. Bugging him read more he has previously taken to Belgian television to attack his family, with whom he is barely on speaking terms, claiming they were like the Stasi secret police and had sought to sabotage his career.